President Biden arrives in Maui later this afternoon. Uh, at least 114 people we know have been killed in the fi wildfires there. Hundreds of people are still missing. ABC's Melissa Adan has been in Maui since the beginning of all of this, and she joins us now live. Melissa, good afternoon. Michelle, good afternoon to you all in New York. So today we are expecting the arrival of President Biden, the First Lady, and also the head of FEMA, all of them vowing to give as much aid and federal resources as possible. Of course, they're expected to tour the devastation in Lahaina, meet with locals, the survivors, and the local officials. Dramatic new video shared with ABC News shows what firefighters faced as the fire approached the historic town of Lahaina. The flames shooting past the fire truck's window, the black smoke blinding. Our visibility is really limited right now. Another video from August 7th capturing what could be an early trigger to the deadly fire. It's windy and then there's a flash and I think that's when a tree is falling on a power line. Now, 13 days after that devastating wildfire, officials say 85% of the destroyed area has been searched. In his first national interview since the fires, Maui's fire chief getting emotional. The firefighters are, are hurting. Um, this is their community. This is their home. These are their people. Um, nobody in our department is unaffected by this. Over 800 people are still unaccounted for. I haven't heard from my father since the fires had started. So um, we haven't been able to locate him. The president and first lady arrive here later today to see the devastation firsthand and to meet with survivors and provide them with an update on the federal response. We will continue to bring in resources to support the requests of the governor and the needs as they go through their recovery process. Now, FEMA has approved so far more than $7 million to those affected. We're talking about 2,200 households. They have also are giving out $700 relief checks to those um, impacted victims. But some of these Maui residents sharing with us that that's just simply not enough to help them begin rebuilding their lives.